Crack them up, boys. And I don't know any other announcements, so I was told I was giving announcements today. So, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't prompted. Hey there, father figure man. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on just a minute. Now. Hey, kids. I went in and prayed with the kids this morning, and they told me that I was supposed to let them know when W.J. was out. Now. They weren't expecting us. Well, they said they were. Surprise. Oh, they were? Surprise. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, did you notice the screen WJ? It says, phone's on airplane mode. Yeah, I ain't got a phone. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a phone, put it on airplane mode, please, because right. it will wipe out our internet feed. And, you know, we don't want everybody to have to and restart. And people around, around the world can And then hear. the apocalypse That's will right. begin. No, I don't go that far. Yep. That's right. Well, they're all in here now, the young people, so it's okay to start. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for that, Chief. I appreciate that. I had a few things to cover with you, but uh, before we get too spiritual, as I'm apt to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me compose myself a minute. What was that after telling that story? No, 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 no. Oh, oh okay. Hey, uh, so Agnes, before we uh, become too spiritual yep. here, as, yep. I'm, as I'm apt to do, yeah. how'd your date go the other day? Oh, yeah, my date. Now, I don't think they want to hear about that. Well, don't you? You want to hear about it? See, I told you they do. Sure well, we do. Well, it went pretty good. So this boy's name is Red, correct? Yep, that's Red. Now, now. Yeah. He's a lot nicer than the fella back home. Now, what, yeah. What's Both are dinkle, Dinkleberry. <laughs> oh. Well, that's uh, quite a moniker. Well, uh, what'd you do on your date? Well, he took me to the movies. We yeah. got a milkshake. Yeah. Saw this show. Yeah. It was kind of, it was a hilarious show. Yeah. It was these people just be walking down the road, and then all of a sudden they just randomly burst into song. Yeah, that's my I laughed movie. so hard I had milk bubbles coming out of my nose. There's just something wrong with that. <laughs> it was funny, I'm telling you. All right, well... I think we heard enough about your date. It went pretty good. Well, Chief, you still We're there? We're not past the hand-holding stage yet or nothing, though. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Hey, Chief. Then we had uh, yes, sir. Chinese noodles and an egg roll. All right, Agnes, that's enough. You wanted to hear about my date. Well, I know, but Come you've... Outside, Do what? I didn't hear what you said. I, you know, we'll just ignore, you know, the, uh, um, never mind, I'm going to let that go too. Yeah. <clears throat> hey, I was uh, going to tell you something I was reading this morning, but it, it it's not appropriate for right now. Oh, dear. Well, hey, Chief. Chief, are you apprised of what next week is? I am. I well, know what it is too. Yeah. Yep. What is it, Agnes? Easter Sunday. Now. And for those of you people that don't know, that's Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get to all that here in a minute. Now, now I know you weren't here last year at this time, Agnes. I but, wouldn't. But, Chief, if you'll hearken back roughly 365 days, as the associate pastor, which I still am, we instituted Friend Day. Now, you thought you are getting away from it this year, didn't you? Cause, but I'm springing it on you the week before. So, next week being Easter, a.k.a. Resurrection Sunday... It's the second annual friend day. So, bring a friend to church now. Well, you're I, already bringing me. Yeah. And I'm a friend. Well, see, I'm trying to get this fella to come, but I'll, I'll warn you ahead of time, he's kind of a heathen. Now, if he shows up, I'll be sure to point him out, all right? Just, I'm, I don't know if he'll come or not, but I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Do, do you think that uh, heathens don't belong in church or something? No, I didn't say that at all. Oh, okay. I, I just, think he's just warning I was just you. So yeah. why, would, why would we point him out? Well, just because he's, he's really my best friend in the entire world. I see. Yeah. So I'm trying to get well, him. Well, how come turn. you don't have him come every Sunday then? Well, you can't climb Mount Everest in one day. I see. Okay. Yeah. So uh, can I get my first scripture up there, please? Now you may be asking yourself, WJ, I can hear you asking this in your head. How do you back friend day up scripturally? Well, looky there. There's the scripture. 
Proverbs 17, 17. Let's read it all together. All together now. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Could I have the old message translation of that, please? I have a few brothers. Yeah. Friends love through all kinds of weather, and family stick together through all kinds of trouble. Now, we're a church family, ain't we? You're all my family. Now, it's like the chief says, the first time you're a visitor, the second Cousin time Doug, you're a member of the family. Cousin Lorraine, father figure. Agnes, man. we're getting off in the weeds here. All right, can I have my second scripture, please? A man has friends, must himself be friendly. But there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. That would be me. Yeah, boy, ain't that the truth. Could I have the old message, please? Friends come and friends go, but a true friend sticks by you like family. Like glue. Yeah, boy, don't I know that. <coughs> so, this brings me to my next point. I figure as the associate pastor, it is my responsibility to kind of help the congregation along. Wouldn't you agree, Chief? Glad you yeah, agree. Yes. All right. Yes. So... What we have today. I was just looking around every time you say you're associate pastor, there's a couple of guys that laugh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, it must be the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That Holy Ghost ho laughter. That Holy Ghost laughter is falling, buddy. All right. That's right. Hallelujah. All right. So, this brings us to my, to my next point. Now, if we're going to invite people to church, and as the associate pastor, I feel it is my responsibility kind of give you a few pointers on how to treat visitors. Wouldn't you agree, Agnes? You got to be friendly. That's right. So, point number one, be friendly. That's what I said. Now, now don't be creepy about it. I mean, don't chase them out to the parking lot. But, you know, you can be friendly. And kind of a subset to that, 1A. Now, I ain't saying this against nobody. Go out and invest in some Altoids, all right? Just saying, be prepared. It always pays to be prepared. There's nothing worse than a close talker with bad breath. You got that right. That brings me to my next point. Don't be a close talker. You know what a close talker is? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, all right, Agnes. Demonstration over. Now, the third point is... Give them, a good, give them a good, firm handshake. We don't want any dead fish around here. There's nothing worse than a limp handshake. Yeah, there is. What? A limp, wet handshake. Well, point taken. Now, I feel if you follow these points, we will make all kinds of friends next week. But you've also got to invite some folks, and that goes for the cheering as well. Got to smile. Yeah, yeah. That's the fourth point. Man, perhaps that should have been number Turn one. That yeah. Be sure you smile at any visitors. I mean, don't be creepy about it. Just be friendly, all right? So something else that you you may want to make sure is before you try to hug them that they're huggers. Because huh. sometimes people aren't huggers. Can you rephrase that? I don't think I quite caught that quite right. Well... Some people uh -huh. don't want to be hugged. We've, oh. had, we've had people that... Uh, have visited that didn't want to be hugged, but they didn't shake your hand. Gotcha. Well, just as a rule of thumb. That's all my mom and dad ever did. As a rule of thumb, what? My mom and dad, they only ever shook hands. Huh. And that they didn't like to be touched. Opens up a whole list of other questions that we'll bypass for now. But, yeah, so my rule of thumb is always start with the handshake. If they move in for the hug, I mean, you got to kind of be... Gotta gotta be prepared for it, but don't go in for it first thing. Is what you're saying, right, Chief? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Be prepared for it. Now, we're also having a dinner next week, aren't we, Spirit Mom? Or Chief? Is it gonna be pot? She, she said yes. She yeah. just doesn't have a microphone this morning. So that's another good reason to bring the bring the visitors. We're having lunch after service next week. I think week. WJ's bringing a visitor. Well, I'm trying to. I, I'm not. It's not a for sure thing, but we will have some special guests besides my visitor. Mama Jay. Yeah, my mother's going to be here. She's a visitor. Well, strictly speaking, I suppose she is. I think that's all I had, Chief. Wait a minute. What? Aren't we supposed to have an egg hunt? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, Chief, Chief, I got to talk to you for a minute. Go ahead. We got a logistical problem with the uh, what's with, that? With the egg toss. I, I regret to inform you there will not be an egg toss this year because I told Agnes to get the eggs for the egg drop together, and she misunderstood me. I thought he said to get the eggs we were going to toss. Yeah. In the trash. Yeah, I don't think that's what you want for an egg toss where you're trying to catch it in a spoon in your mouth. You never know which ones are good and which ones are bad. They were all bad. So the egg toss is off this year. I'm just telling I you. Yeah, yeah, I think it was called a thousand egg Easter egg hunt. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's a separate that's a separate event. This the one I'm talking about was for the adults. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I think that's all we had, Chief. I'll turn it back over to you. Well, we're going to go back to worship. All right. What a friend we have in Jesus.